Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Unit Last Time Stylosa and ladies and gentlemen I am totally, utterly succumbing to the hype of Elite Dangerous. Now, we often speak about hype quite a bit on the channel. We uh, There are a lot of games out there that are overhyped and it's just quite terrible. Elite Dangerous however, uh, there is hype and the hype is building quite a bit. It's obviously not going to reach the levels of hype you see with every kind of triple A game and all that stuff. But there is hype ladies and gentlemen and I really want to add to it because this ladies and gentlemen could be well, it could be, I, I think it probably will be, the best PC game launch of the year. Notice I said PC game as well, because Elite is basically the quintessential PC game. However, let's just have a little bit of a chat. So, Elite, ladies and gentlemen, is a fine example of how to bring a Kickstarter game to launch. I know it's had some problems and some like minor delays, and I think there's been some features and stuff which have been held back until updates after the game's launched, but it's not that horrendously bad so we don't really need to waste time talking about that at least i don't think we do but please correct me in the comments below if we do so let's just have a chat about what elite actually is and why it's as i just said probably totally deserving of the hype and it's easily probably going to be one of the best pc launch of the year at least i think it will be anyway um but remember notice i said pc not console because it really this is not a game that would work on consoles it it just it just wouldn't it flat out would not work it is a pc game ladies and gentlemen let that be known all right so why do i find this so interesting well you can you can just do what you like elite is a game where you you, you basically spawn into the game with a free ship and you can just do whatever the hell you like there are no rules. When I say there's no rules, there are rules, but you can choose to ignore the rules and just do whatever the hell you like because, yeah, don't like that space station attack it, although I wouldn't advise that because you'll instantly die. But you get what I'm saying. Don't like the faction that runs a space station will go on a hate campaign and start taking out all of their fighters and any other players that are kind of affiliated with them because you don't like them. That is entirely possible, and to me, that is just absolutely beautiful. So I think Elite is kind of like, right... Let's, let's, let's bring EVE Online into this mess. So, for me, EVE Online, uh, you see the screenshots, well, yeah, you see the screenshots, you see the trailers, you read the stories, the industrial espionage, the backstabbing, all of that mad stuff going on. And then, like me, you go, okay, let's, let's have a go of EVE. You get into EVE and you're like, well, I do, well what's going on? I'm just going to come out and, and say this right now, but I firmly believe the core gameplay mechanics of EVE Online are absolutely terrible. They are really terrible. It, I know people say it's a spreadsheet and all of that stuff. It is and it is and it is if you're just going to play the markets. But if you know if, if you're going to do something with your fleets, for example, or your ships, then you know if you want to do a bit of uh, pirate action or whatever, it's not going to be that much of a spreadsheet then. But still, you're not actually controlling the ship. It's all about setting distances and moving in, and it, it's 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 boring. I found it boring. Eve Online, however, it, it gives you direct control of the ship you're a pilot in. So in a way, it's kind of like a flight simulator version of EVE Online because there's no reason why it, it can't be any different to EVE. You know, it, it's got well, it's got the, the foundations of, of, of an economy that can be built. You could be uh, an industrial juggernaut trading in God knows what across the, the galaxy. Um, or you could be a, a pirate. Or you could just be some freelance guy who, who takes jobs on. Or you could just be, you can do whatever you like. And that is what's really attractive for both games, for both EVE and um, Elite. But what really puts Elite way ahead, uh, in my opinion, is the fact that you can actually fly the ships. And the, I really like the flight in, in, in Elite, and I'm just going to come out and say this as well. Uh, I find it, it I, know, I know Star Citizen isn't, isn't finished, so this is not really a fair comparison, but the flight mechanics are way better in Elite Dangerous than they are in... Um, Star Citizen. In fact, I've found Star Citizen to be kind of arcadey almost. Uh, but again, I'm not the biggest flight simulator fan ever. But to me, Elite has just felt... It just felt better. I think instead of trying to come up with my own ham-fisted words on the game's features and, and stuff, I, what I'm going to do is just read directly from their website because this, this just sums the game up absolutely beautifully. Team up with others on missions or travel alone exploring the expanse of space encountering fellow explorers on the way. Elite Dangerous offers endless choice in one massively multiplayer online experience. You can trade for profit between systems, ruthlessly pillage and pilfer at any given opportunity, take part in alliances to bring down planetary economics, uh, planetary e economies, what, we, yes, okay, to be in the balance of power or simply explore open world uh, wonders of the galaxy. I, I'm terrible at reading quotes, dear, dear. Together or alone. 
The Starship Services facility on each of the huge starports will be your first port of call. You start with little money in a sidewinder, but a small, a small but capable craft. But with ambition and skill, you can acquire ever more sophisticated and capable craft and weaponry. Your first trade mission is much more than merely padding your bank account. It puts you in the driving seat of your own story. Your choices can make you wealthy, can make you powerful, and can make you knowledgeable, but can also make you the target of every elite wannabe from here to the edge of the galaxy. Travelling and exploring across vast distances, choosing your allegiances to suit you, and whether to fight for the greater good or take a decidedly opportunistic approach to each and every situation you are faced with. So if that doesn't sound amazing to you, then I don't really know what will. You see, Elite, I, this, there's been this feeling I've had, and I've only had it a few times, okay. The last time I had it was about, I'm going to say about 10 years ago. Uh, this is when I first started playing EverQuest 2. Now, you would have had the same feeling, I would, I would imagine, with any other MMO that you played. The, your first main MMO, let's say. I did dabble in, in, in EverQuest, but I mainly played EverQuest 2. I became lost in that game for a good number of years. Like, I was totally lost. That game was... I, 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 well, I didn't live for the game, but it was the only game I played. And I, I knew everything about the game. You know, I was in the world. I really felt part of it. Felt part of the story of the of the of the server I was on, or like in Realm in, in World of Warcraft. You know, my character became known in on on game forums and stuff like that. It, it was really, you know, hell. If if EverQuest Two came out later, I would have had a YouTube channel about EverQuest Two. I was like, you know, I, I really, really, really love that game. But mainly for the feeling that it gave me, because the game itself was a little bit iffy. But whatever. I think though. E well not e I've got Eve online in the brain. I think though, uh, Elite Dangerous is going to be the same thing. Okay, you see, I want to get lost in the universe. I want to become totally submerged inside the game. I want the feeling I had when I played EverQuest Two again, of of being part of a world, being being sort of so connected to it that it becomes the game that I play. I also want to play in a mature environment as well because I don't really get off on playing with people called Uber Hacks, fucking one three three seven no scope pro. Those people are idiots. Okay, I'm not a child. I'm 27. I don't want to be running around in a game where people are just throwing abuse at each other and all that crap without any consequence. Because sure, you could get people doing that in, in Elite Dangerous, but then you could just fucking blow them away. And then what are they going to do? They're going to just die, ain't they? That is the difference, ladies and gentlemen. I, I think it's a more well, I think we're going into a more mature age of uh, of gaming almost, and I think we do really have to thank Kickstarter for for the fact that this game is is a game, you know, because it would never have been nobody, no, no, um, um, uh, what are they called? I want to say backers, you, you, uh, financial. Oh God, I'm having like brain meltdown. Uh, investors, that's it, would invest in, in in a new Elite Dangerous because, well, in a new Elite game because w why would you do that? Flight simulating games especially in space, oh, they don't make no money. But Kickstarter gave them opportunity to do it and they've totally taken that. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And I, you know, I played, I played um, some of the earlier uh, Alphas and Betas and stuff of, of Elite Dangerous. I actually streamed it quite a bit. Some of you guys have probably watched that on a Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash unit lost. Um, but I dabbled in it the other day and it felt way better. Like it's been a few a couple of months since I, I really got into it. Um, but it is literally the only thing I'm playing now. You know, I've, I've actually taken time out of messing about to uh, make this video. As I would just sit there all day and play the game. Um, so, yeah. Guys, I want to know what you think about Elite Dangerous. Are you really hyped for it? Are you? Has this been, like, one of the biggest launches in the last few years for you? Do you think it will be one of the biggest launches on PC um, of the year? I'm not talking in terms of how many boxes it sells, but just in terms of what it is. Because it's a groundbreaking game. Whichever way you look at it, it, it just is. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that. As I say, leave your comments below. I will be reading them. Please don't hate on me, because I don't like that in the comments section. And it's enough to drive a YouTuber fucking crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, I've been Stylo, so this is Unit Lost. If you like the video, then like the video, subscribe to the channel, and all of that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo.